Hi everyone, so today we are going to do another art journal video on my uh, wonderful art journal book, uh, very used as you can see. So since we are in the end of the page and the situation is, you can see, is very very bulky. And on this page my idea was to have some dimension on it. So I'm going to show you how we are going to put dimension on the page but without adding more dimension on our journal. So stick with me and let's go and start. So usually I'm always uh, leave one page between the last project that I had empty so then in the end I'm gonna glue it that this is because I don't know if I'm going for something and anyway I want to protect the other page so I won't smash any color on the other or at least it will be much less so let's start from this page this is gonna be my first page now I want to count for five pages so and then five on the other side so basically we're gonna use this structure and instead of gluing something on top of the page we are gonna cut to have the dimension that we want so we will have this dimension on one side and the other dimension on the other side so I, I hope that uh, it's clear but if not no worry we are gonna do it throughout the project so stay with me so let's leave this one on this on the center that I'm ready to, to use for later so let's find some magazine cut out because we are gonna make a winter scene uh, so I already have, uh, went through the, the magazine that I have. I, what I'm looking for is a page with the text, basically. Text. Mm, better if it's not a straight column, but with the word going a bit on this side, on the other side, because we are going to cut there. So I just selected a few of those pages, so probably this section, and we are going to do some cutting. Now, after cut a bunch of those, we are going to start cutting one. I'm going to show you just one on camera, then every, everything is similar, let's say. So, I'm going to use the text here. I don't like this side because it's completely straight, the line here of the text. Instead on this side, there is a bit of movement. So, I think I'm going to cut on this side and I'm going to cut just a straight line and I'm not so worried about being perfect in the case. If it's not lines are not perfect, I think it's working even better. I'm gonna for this one I'm gonna do a bigger stripe and in other case I'm gonna do a bit smaller stripes. So then we have some kind of variation and we are gonna need a lot of those stripes for our page. So this is basically how it looked like. So let's do for the rest of them. Now let's go back to the page. What do we need to do is just to glue a few of those in a, I don't know, in a way here on the page. I'm gonna put like three or four maybe. Done! Now it's time for another quick Things we need to do the cutting, the cutting of these stripes basically on the five pages. All right, here is the cut. So you can see we will have some kind of dimension in a page without adding anything. So now it's time to glue everything back. And since this is again is five pages, I need to glue every single one to each other. And uh, with, I'm not going to glue now the last layer because I want to do the background first. So let me do all the glue here and I'll be right back. So now time to do the background while this one is going to dry a bit more. Let's do the background. I want to use the brayer and the jelly print. And, but this time I'm not going to use with the acrylic paint but we are going to use with the Distress Oxide. I'm now gonna speed up this part so it will not be so bold. So first I'm just gonna put some color on the jelly print and print on the background. Uh, and uh, I it it's gonna be a very uh, thin layer and very uh, light. And so after that I'm gonna go uh, back on, on the background adding some more color directly with the bray with the brayer so in this case uh, we will have some more uh, lines and um, interest on the page but we can do I mean the background can be done in different way you can uh, add some stamping technique that I didn't do it I want to have uh, just a quick and easy background idea 
Uh, and uh, as you saw uh, for the for the cutting that I didn't explain that before, so I was cutting the stripes, but I was keeping also the bottom part, um, kind of the floor of, of the scene. So in this case, it's easier to uh, glue everything on uh, on the page and keep everything steady. But you can even cut everything and then glue again back basically on the page. And in, in this case, it's gonna be even um, like you are gluing basically uh, elements on top of the page. Uh, this is gonna be a winter scene because it was really freezing on the, on the last week uh, here in, uh, in Houston, in Texas. As always, I mean, we, it was the same also last year and we had some snow last year. This time it was just a freezing and pretty cold uh, um, week. And uh, I mean, it was not um, cold uh, as it uh, can be like in Canada or somewhere else where I've been. Like even in Belgium is even colder than how it was here. Uh, but still, I mean, the structure here, you, here people, uh, everybody is not used to this cold. So it was a kind of disruption or school closed. I mean, it was a bit strange, let's say, uh, for, for just a bit uh, freezing uh, time. But uh, it was, uh, I wanted to document as well uh, this period on, uh, on my journal as well. I mean, this is my journal. I want to have... Uh, kind of document what what's going on on my life at least a little bit uh, so for the um, as you can see now i'm just gonna color as well i'm not introducing any new color so i'm using uh, the darker one that i had in the background and i wanted to uh, have a different color basically um, a bit more darker on the front uh, of the the scene and uh, I want uh, I want to go as well with the brayer again, and then uh, to uh, I want I'm just using uh, the Hohu marker. Uh, I have just uh, three shaded colors uh, in uh, in blue, and I'm just putting some lines here and there. So basically, the scene. Uh, what is it? The scene. So it's gonna be a winter scene with uh, three birch birch tree uh, wood forest. Uh, over there and uh, the all the lines that i'm drawing now with the uh, color marker are, are represent the leaves uh, falling down uh, mainly frozen because of the temperature <laughs> let's say at least that's what the idea that i had and the uh, uh, the magazine cut out that we the stripes that we put there that we glue on the page those are basically the uh, birch tree and all the lines all the text is going is creating the illusion of the dimension of the tree but we are going to work on that one to make it even more round and more uh, adding some shade on that so we are now done with the background and we are going to keep in real time. Now I want to do some more detail on the trees because those are trees. And we are going to use Stabilo and then we are going to activate. And I want to use also the uh, grey. I think I need some color here and there or some shade. I'm going to use this for the shade too. Uh, this is just an aquarelle pencil so let's do it. So I'm back with the voiceover, so this is the perfect technique if you want to add some shadow on uh, your element. Uh, in this case, okay, we are going to try to add the, um, you know, the round of the, the tree, so the dimension on the tree. And we are going to use, as I was saying, the um, watercolor pencil, this is in grey, and then we activate with the water, but uh, it's going to be really light uh, shading and uh, my uh, watercolor pencil is not uh, going to move a lot. But what is going to move a lot and going to give really the dip on, on the project is really the Stabilol. This is a wonderful pencil, if you don't have it, just take it, <laughs> it's wonderful. Uh, so I'm just adding basically a few lines here and there, horizontal line to recreate the uh, the look of the tree, and um, I'm just adding also some shadow on uh, on on the side of the, of the tree, so to kind of uh, push it a bit further on from the background, and then we are gonna activate everything with water, and you will see how much it's gonna move and how this is gonna change the look of the whole page. Um, Keep in mind that the dimension that I have on this page is not a lot because we just I just cut five pages per each side, but you can even add more dimension, I mean, just adding more pages and cut again. So you really can have a big dimension if you want to, but five to me were good enough. And with the, this technique with the shadow is gonna um, look like there is even more dimension. 
All right, we did the background. The page is almost finished, so we are gonna put just a, a place here, I guess, to put some quote because we need a quote on this page. So I'm gonna uh, use this one, this stamp, and I'm gonna use the paper that we tear it off from the page. And the same, I'm gonna use the same color. Yes, I yes, yes, yes. Let's use this color as well. Voila. So now the quote of today. So we're gonna put this one over there in just a minute. So I need to write something on those. So the word of today is gonna be a kind. word a kind of word a kind of word can warm warm can warm winter so we are now glue everything on the page uh, in just a bit uh, movements uh, some uh, leaves up some leaves down so just to recreate the movement on the page and after that I'm just adding even more shadow so uh, I'm using again the stabilo old pencil just to accentuate again even more some of the part so if you like so far the project, give me a like, a thumbs up, it's always helpful. Uh, I really enjoy this, uh, this page, to be honest, and I, had another, I did another page in the past, uh, similar with, with the same technique, let's say, so cutting instead of adding element uh, on the page, and it helps to keep the, the journal brief. Here is the page. I hope that you like it. I like it a lot to make it. And as you can see, I, I don't know if you can see much, but here is the dimension that I got. So it's not much again, because it's just uh, the five pages that I have glued up, but uh, it's good enough for me. And uh, again, this is a winter theme, but you can uh, really easily make it a fall theme. Just uh, change uh, color, so I have warm color instead of cold color. And uh, I'm gonna, I did also, as I was saying, uh, something in the past uh, similar with the same technique. And I put maybe the video uh, in the end of, of this video. It was this one, that I had again also dimension here. And it was the same actually with, the, with this one too. Here I just did some cutouts, so then I had uh, five pages here and, and one page on the bottom. And uh, I think it's a good technique again to keep the journal not too big. Thanks a lot for watching again. See you soon for next time. Bye bye.